Today, we're going to talk about how to get started in making music on the iPad. Whether you're using a tablet or are in a multi-million dollar studio, the concepts are the same. For this series of videos, we're going to use two programs, GarageBand and Soundtrap, because they're easy to use and easy to access. So let's get started. Getting started making beats. First, we need to plug in our headphones so we can hear what we're working on. The easiest way to get started making music in any digital audio workstation is by using the loops included in the app. In Soundtrap, after tapping Create New Project, tap the blank song template. In Soundtrap, the loops live in the Loops tab. Tap the purple Loops tab in the upper right-hand corner of the studio. It's the one with the music notes. In both programs, loops are divided out by instrument and musical style or genre. To check out a loop, just tap it. Once you find something you like, just double tap it and Soundtrap creates a new track for you. As you find more loops to add, just double tap them and Soundtrap will create new tracks for you. Congratulations, you just created the foundation of your first song in record time. Nice. Now that you have a solid groove, what can you add to it? How about adding an idea by using a piano? Let's try it. Adding instrument tracks. While you're in the tracks view of GarageBand, tap on the plus button in the bottom left hand corner and then tap keyboard. Boom, now you got a piano. You can play sounds by tapping the piano keys on the on-screen piano. You can also check out different sounds in both apps by tapping the picture of the piano. Tap on a new sound and see what it sounds like by playing some of the keys on the piano. Now that you've found a sound you like, you can try recording it by pressing the red circle. The app will automatically stop recording when you get to the end of your loop. If not, just tap the stop button. Are you starting to notice the similarities between the two DAWs? Keep that in mind as we go through this and other videos. You can also connect a MIDI controller instead of using the on-screen piano. Let's take a look at how that works. Connecting a MIDI controller. Let's connect a MIDI keyboard controller to GarageBand. To connect your controller to your DAW, all you have to do is plug your controller into a USB port on your iPad and GarageBand automatically recognizes it. Once your controller is connected, let's try recording a bass line. First, add a new track by tapping Tracks View and then the plus sign. Then tap Bass. Just like we did with the piano sounds, you can check out different types of bass sounds by tapping the picture of the bass. Tap on a new sound and see what it sounds like by playing the connected MIDI controller. Now that you've found a sound you like, you can try recording it by pressing the red circle. You can use the same process to create new tracks using any of the instruments and loops that are included in the app. So, what if you want to add a vocal to your song? Let's try it! Connecting a microphone. First, plug your microphone into your device. Next, make a new mic track. Just like we did with the other tracks, tap the plus sign and then tap voice and microphones. Now, let's make sure Soundtrap is ready to record your mic. Tap on the settings and then sound setup. This will take you to Soundtrap's built-in volume check. Follow the on-screen directions and be sure to speak or sing directly into your mic. You should be able to hear yourself in your headphones. Not hearing anything? Check that you have all the connections made and your headphone volume is turned up. But not too loud. Always protect your ears. Always. Recording your vocal. Are you ready? When you press the big red start recording button at the bottom of the screen, you'll be recording. When you're finished, the recording will automatically stop at the end of the loop. And you did it! Congratulations! You just laid down your first vocal track. You don't like how you sounded? Well, that's okay. Recording software also allows you to cut and paste sections. Check this out. You can select things and move them, copy them, erase them, you name it. So you can redo your take as many times as you like. You can overdub or layer another part on top of a track you've already recorded, while the first one plays back by adding another track. This is how you might add a stacked vocal harmony or some percussion parts. You can record other instruments too. But remember, most DAWs give you pre-made track templates for pretty much anything you want to record. Our next video will cover how to take your recording to the next level through mixing and more advanced recording techniques. And remember, it's never about the gear. 
It's about your ideas and being able to express yourself and share what you create. Experiment, explore, have fun, 